In this screencast, we're going to look at setting the learning object icon properties. Obviously, the learning object title, but also the navigation options, the default text size, and the importance of setting the default display mode. We'll also look at some of the optional properties, including the background image, custom interface, link into a help file, and also add in an icon or logo top left of learning object and where the menu page image appears. This is Quick and Dirty Zerty. We're going to start by selecting the learning object that we created previously and selecting edit. Now in this example with each of the text pages we didn't even change the learning object title or any of the learning object icon properties. So we'll start by changing the title. 30 online toolkits page types. Now by default um, the navigation is set to linear we can change that to menu and also the default text size is set to 12 now my tip is to to by default change that to 14 it doesn't make a, a big difference doesn't break anything but I think it's generally a, a slightly better text size as a default and there are times when you would change it to much higher than this so if we click play now what we see is that instead of the the normal navigation with left and right buttons top right of the screen we have uh, a list of buttons that represent each of the pages in our learning object and we can select one to navigate through direct to that page rather than having to navigate through in a, a linear fashion to get back to the menu we just select the contents button top right of the screen so there are times when this kind of menu interface with a list of buttons would be preferable to the, the normal linear uh, navigation. And then said that, if we change back to the linear navigation, we'll see that we can still navigate through in a non-linear fashion. Before we preview the object again, we'll just ch select the display mode and change this to fill window. Select play, and now we see that the learning object is filling the window by default we have our linear navigation back but as I said you can still navigate through in a non-linear fashion by selecting the contents button and doing the same as we did previously with the buttons so in most circumstances the linear navigation option is is the best one by default because you do still and more importantly your learners do still have the option of navigating through in a, a non-linear fashion so my tips are to change the default text size to 14 and change the default display mode to fill window. We also have some optional properties. So the first one we see here in the drop down menu is background image. If we select that we want to add a background image which will appear on every page of our learning object. We select add and all we need to do is browse to a su suitable image. So I'm going to browse um, a folder of assets I have on here and select um, in this case an image of um, a Nottingham University building. I can click the preview button here to see what this image looks like normally. So you can see it's a bright blue sky and a, a building bottom, uh, the bottom third of the, the image or picture. Um, but if I now play this what we'll see is that the background image that you select is actually automatically faded and made um, transparent so that the the text on the screen and the various um, pages that you add to your learning object are still viewable um, but there's still a case of trial and error to a certain extent and you do need to check any learning objects that you create that the image doesn't obscure and, and make them difficult to read or to to view whatever content you're putting on the different pages. Um, but it can be a nice effect, particularly if you um, select the appropriate image. Um, but it is important to stress this image will now appear through every single page of the learning object and not just on the, the title page. 
The next optional property we see in the drop down menu is custom interface. But this is a topic for a, a tutorial on its own and really involves um, a specialist developer providing you with a custom interface that you can upload. So we'll save that for a future tutorial. So the next one in the list is the help file. If we select help file and select add, what we can do is browse to a file. So in this case, I'm going to browse to a PDF document um, called Xerti Passport. And this is, um, again, a, a topic for another tutorial, really. But this is a, a PDF file, basically, and could be um, a help document, could be some extra curriculum material, or another version of your learning material in a format that um, perhaps is, is more suitable for learners that can't, for some reason, interact with... Um, the rest of the interactive pages within your learning object. So we select the PDF file, select open, it uploads it to the server. And when that's complete, if we press play, what we'll see is that we have a help icon now that when we click it, will launch our PDF file. And that um, help icon appears continually throughout the learning object. So it's a, a quick and easy way of providing support material or material in a different format or perhaps a printable version of your learning object. OK, the next uh, um, optional property is the icon property. And the, and the title of this or name of this is a bit misleading, really, because the, the biggest benefit of it is for adding a logo, for instance, to, the, to your learning object. So if we select icon and select add, what we can do is browse for um, a suitable image. Um, so let's, for instance, select um, this Teclis logo here. And you can see I've named the file with um, some helpful information that tells me that it's 150 pixels wide by 42 pixels high. Um, and it's important to... Um, to realize that that your logo image we can see that it's now appearing on the screen shouldn't be too wide because it will limit the space that you've got for your um, page titles but more importantly it shouldn't be too high um, because otherwise it could end up interfering with your page content so a quick tip is to resize any logos or images that you want to add to appear top left of the screen to no more than about 46 pixels high. To demonstrate this with uh, another logo I've got, I'm going to browse and select um, a small logo that I created for these tutorials. So I click play. We now have a, a nice little logo top left of the screen, which is 46 pixels high and probably about 80 pixels wide. OK, um, the last optional property of a learning object is the menu page image. So if we select and add that and browse for a suitable image, uh, select this one and click play, we're not actually seeing that image anywhere. And the reason for that is uh, hinted in the title. This is the menu page image. So if we now select our default navigation and change it to menu and click play, we'll see we now have um, an image that appears alongside our menu buttons. So this is a way of making our menu page a little bit more visually appealing. If we change back to linear navigation, um, the menu page image will still be stored as part of our learning object, but won't appear anywhere until we change that navigation back to um, menu. So I think that's covered all the, the default properties and optional properties of the learning object icon. So in this screencast, we looked at setting or changing the learning object icon properties. The learning object title, keep it short and self-explanatory. We have options for linear or menu navigation. 
recommendation to change the text size to at least 14 if not higher in some cases and certainly change the display mode to either um, fill window or at least full screen. We looked at the optional properties, added a background image, but use that with caution. Custom interface really is for um, a specialist developer and a, a separate tutorial. The help file we can link to support information or learning object content in a different format. We can add a, a logo to our learning objects. Recommendation is not too wide and around about 46 pixels high. And we can add a menu page image, but discuss the fact that this will only appear when the menu navigation is selected. I'm Ron Mitchell. This has been Quick and Dirty Zerty.